Rookie year, we're playing the New York Knicks and I have a terrible game. And I get a call on my phone. My father says, get your ass home right now. I don't want to talk to you. Be here tomorrow at 0500. If you don't, I'm going to knock your ass out. I'm there at 5 a.m. He's already dressed and we get in the car and we ride. And I was like, but what? Shut the hell up. We were just riding. So I come across this homeless family and we were just looking for an hour. He said, what happened to the game yesterday? He said, nah, I don't know. I let the pressure get to me. He was pissed. You spoiled mother effer making all this money. You're talking about pressure. This is pressure where you don't know where your next meal is coming from. Get out. There was a guy, his wife, and two kids. I can't have him laying on the street. He said, look, man, I just lost my job. I just got down on some hard time. But he was, he was very dedicated. He's like, but I'm going to get back. I'm going to get back. I said, all right, hold on. Jake. Yeah, what's happening? You still got them uh, uh, apartments that you're building? Yeah, well, I need a three-bedroom apartment today. How much? $3,000, $36,000. I'm going to wire the money. So now I got them on the streets. And then I asked the guy, so what do you like to do? He said, man, I'll do whatever. Hey, Tony, you still got that lawn, sir? Hey, 